Goodbye, guys. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Hello <laughs> and goodbye. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. All right. Welcome to another video. I was harassed by lots of Chinese kids. Uh, now they're leaving. Okay. So in this video, I want to. I want to uh, tell you why I came to China. Um, as you can probably see, uh, the people here are very nice. Um, so, why did I come to China? Well, uh, I came to China, not, not directly. Uh, actually, it's part of a longer, I guess you can, you can call it a journey or a series of uh, occurrences. Um, in college, uh, my first experience going abroad was in, uh, when I went to Sweden. And it was uh, such a great experience. Like I felt so free to go abroad for the first time in my life that you know, I wanted, after I was done studying there, uh, I wanted to kind of continue this, this uh, experience of living abroad. And so, after I completed college, I was still in this, you know, I was, I was in this kind of uh, adventurous state of mind, you know. I, I just couldn't, like, imagine uh, settling down, getting the 9 to 5 regular job, and just, you know, living the, the mundane kind of routine life that most people live. And so I, I decided to you know, I decided to go, go abroad again, and uh, I decided to, uh, to, teach, to teach overseas in Poland. And so I was there for, uh, for a year and a half. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. I traveled around Europe, and uh, I really just enjoyed my time there. And, but I was kind of tired of, tired of kind of the Europe, European experience, so I, I wanted to go further, I further, instead of just experiencing Europe, you know, I, I you know, I was offered the opportunity to uh, work and live uh, in, in China. So, uh, so I, I just took the opportunity. I just decided to uh, take the jump. And yeah, I tell you, like, really, like a few days before I went to China, I was I was kind of freaking out. Like I, I was kind of uh, had like a small panic attack because it was such a big leap uh, from America to China. Because China is a completely different country. It's like the opposite of America in so many ways. So uh, when I did take the plunge, uh, you know, it was the, when I first arrived to Beijing. It was, it was, I was surprisingly disappointed, and that. Things were, not, things were not so different. Uh, instead, I, I kind of experienced uh, globalization. You know, globalization has kind of made everything more similar. So when you come to China, things are not that different anymore. Because you see the big buildings, the, the American-sized cars, you see the Western, Western restaurants and Western stores, and things are kind of uh, homogenous. This is kind of this uh, uh, I say convergence of the world where everything is kind of like looking more, more and more similar every day. So when I first came to China, it, you know, it, I was kind of disappointed, like I said, but also it was, it was amazing. It was my first three months, actually my first six months here in China was an incredible time. Like it was, it was like every day was wonderland. And, and even to this day, I still feel a little bit, not as much as before, but even you know, now I feel, I sometimes feel that, you know, that wonderment feeling, you know, like everything's so different, everything's very stimulative, everything just stimulates the brain. You never really feel bored. You can just stare outside the window. Every, you know, it's just, you feel good. Um, you feel stimulated because, you know, 
if you're bored, you can learn the language. You can look outside, you can go outside, you can meet some of the Chinese people. They're, you know, if you, I, I'm still trying to improve my Chinese, so, you know, every day I learn a word or two. And, uh, yeah, so it's, you know, it's, it's definitely not a place where you will get bored. Um, but of course, another reason as uh, that I'm staying longer, of course, is that, you know, as I get older, I become more practical. So the money here, the economy here in China is very good. It's uh, especially good for foreigners. Um, so, and also you can save a lot of money. So I'm saving an incredible amount of money. And uh, I really hope that like within like five to 10 years, I can just like save up enough money to just not have to work, you know? I might still work, but of course, I, I don't want to be in a position where I have to work. So, uh, yeah, so pretty much why I came to China is to kind of continue my, continue my, um, what call it, wanderlust, or just continue this lifestyle, of just living overseas, experiencing, you know, just something totally different from what I grew up with. I didn't, I'm not, I'm not running away from America because I hate any group of people or the politics or, or the money or all that stuff, you know, it's kind of just a lifestyle choice. So, um, yeah, so, as, as you guys can see, uh, you know, today's a beautiful day in Beijing, so the whole idea though, some people are saying that, you know, there's a lot of pollution in China, which is true, but not every day is polluted. Many days are quite like this. You know, it's beautiful, clear, picture, picturesque skies, and just you know, beautiful environment. So, uh, I'll definitely recommend for you to come to China. And don't be scared. Don't don't listen to the anti-China propaganda back in the West. Uh, all that stuff is just you know, fear mongering. And I plan to stay in China forever. Uh, the answer is no. I don't. I don't want to stay in any country forever. Uh, I, you know, I just really. I just want to stay in stay stay in a country that benefits me for a finite amount of time. Like if I if I can achieve a goal in a country, I'll stay there. If I can't achieve a goal, I'll move. So you know, I didn't decide to settle down in Poland, Poland or Sweden or any other country because I didn't really have a goal. So here in China, you know, the money's good. So I'm trying to save up a lot of money. Also, you know, I still, I still enjoy the culture and still enjoy the life. So, all right. So that's all I have. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys follow me in my life abroad. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> <笑>哎呀我忘了找哪去了你这样是不是你看我手上一把分儿我手上一把分儿又走了又走了又走了哎呀你一把走还有分儿 <笑>你给我们怎么你给我们怎么你给我们怎么你给我们怎么你给我们怎么你给我们怎么你给我们怎么你给我们怎么你给我们怎么你给我们怎么你给我们怎么你给我们怎么你给我们怎么你给我们